Hello friends, we'll be talking about linear equations in two variables in uh, this session. So friends, let's start with uh, the definition of linear equations in two variables. Now we've already studied the linear equations in one variables. So we know what are variables. We denote the variables by some alphabets and they can take different values. And a linear equation is an equation of degree 1. So now we'll see what do we mean by the linear equations in two variables. So any linear equation which contains two variables is called linear equation in two variables. So very uh, clearly visible from the name itself. Now what is the form of the equation? We, we write a linear equation in two variables in a form in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where x and y are the two variables and a b and c are real numbers so in this case a b and c are real numbers where it is important to note that a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 And we also know that these coefficients of the variables a, b and c can be irrational also. So we, we always say that these are real numbers. So an example is 2x plus 3y minus 12 is equal to 0. But if we take some irrational number as the coefficient, so we could also say something like root 2x plus root 5y plus 4 is equal to 0. So, any equation of this type where we have two variables and we have its coefficients a, b which are non-zero real numbers and another we have another constant term which is another real number but it could be 0 also. So, we, we are saying that this constant term may be actually missing also in some cases. So that will also remain a linear equation in two variables. So an example for that would be, say for example, we write 4x plus 2y is equal to 0. So now here we don't have a constant term. So c essentially is 0 in this equation, but this still remains to remains a linear equation in two variables. Now let's look at some of the examples of these kind of equations. So we, we are taking the examples from the real life. Say for example, we have a situation where we say uh, two boys, uh, Rohan and Sohan, ate five chocolates. So now we are not specifying who ate how many chocolates but we know that together they ate five chocolates so we can write this in the form of x plus y equal to five where x may be the number of chocolates which uh, which are eaten by rohan and sohan ate y chocolates so we're saying x plus y is equal to five so let's look at some more examples perimeter of a square and a rectangle is 80 centimeters so we are telling the sum of the perimeter of a square and rectangle is 80 centimeter marks of the top two students in the class is 140 so we are not giving any specific data of individual students but we know that the marks added together for these two students is 140 the cost of two games is 650 rupees the total score, score of India in two innings of a test match is 743. The sum of the age of Sumarth and his father is 45 years. So now it is important to note that these are some of the examples that we have just taken from the daily life. So we are saying now we are make we can make an equation of this type that we have made here x plus y is equal to 5 for the second one if we could say x is the perimeter of the square and y is the perimeter of rectangle so we could say x plus y is equal to 80 so we could 
write the equations, linear equations in two variables for all of these cases. Now, the important thing to note here is that in all these cases, we can clearly see that we have more than one possible ways in which this statement could be true. So, if you look at the statement where we are saying x plus y is 5, we could have x equal to 1 and y equal to 4. We could have x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 and we could have x equal to 3 and y equal to 2 and we could also have x equal to 4 and y equal to 1. So, and this is again this is assuming that we are only taking the whole numbers for this or it could be 0 and 5, 5 or 0 but then there are other possible solutions also where we could say x is equal to 1.5 and y is equal to 3.5. So, there are multiple solutions, multiple possible values of x and y for which these equations will hold true. So, these possible values of x and y are basically called the solutions of the linear equation in two variables. So, now we know that if we had a linear equation in one variable, which we've studied in previous classes, something like 2x minus 3 is equal to 5. So, we know that this linear equation in one variable can, can be solved in only one possible way and we'll get only one possible value of x. But that is not true for a linear equation in two variables. We could have multiple possible values of the variables so that the statement could still hold true. So, now we reach this conclusion that any pair of values of the variables which satisfy the equation is called the solution of the equation. So, if we were talking about the first equation which is x plus y equal to 5, we are saying we could have numerous solutions for it which is 1, x equal to 1, y equal to 4, x equal to 2, y equal to 3 and so on that we just discussed. Friends, I hope you enjoyed the session. If you find it useful, please like it and share it with your friends. You can visit us at our Cool Smart Learning website and post your queries there. And please subscribe to the Cool Smart Learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions. Thank you.